Benvenuti a Roma. Welcome to Rome. I'm about to take you on a true Italian taste journey with our friends from the Italian Chamber in Los Angeles. So if you thought that pizza was just round, topped with tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basilico, well, you are in for a massive surprise because I'm going to show you. We are in Trastevere, one of the nicest, cutest neighborhoods in Rome, the cobblestones. It seems very quiet now, but this place lights up at night because it's full of cafes and restaurants and, and, and it's really a place to be. But with this said, I am about to take you to Casa Manco. Casa Manco is the best spot for pizza alla pala. I don't know if you've ever heard this term before, if you didn't, if you, if you, if you ever knew that pizza alla pala existed, but I will show you. So here we are. I want you to take a very, very nice look at this place because it has a fascinating history, which I will tell you all about later. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Grazie. So at first I would like you to look at the counter because you must know that Andrea and Paola were former architects that decided to turn a passion into an incredible business. And this is the famous, famous pizza alla pala. Now take a very, very good look at the shape. It's oval. Take a very, very good look at the toppings. They are incredibly delicious. And I will tell you all about the pizza la pala and their pizza la pala because their pizza la pala, ooh, strawberries is incredible. Look at this one. Ah, posso avere per cortesia un pezzettino di pizza bianca? E questa non so che cos'è, ma è bellissima. Basilico, provola fumicata e limone. Basil, provola fumicata, smoked provola, and lemon. Ooh, and this one also too. Okay, so fried onions with feta, uh, with turmeric, uh, pomegranate, and dates. Yes. So, as you can see, it's definitely far, far from being the round pizza that you find in standard restaurants because Pizza La Pala is called Pizza La Pala. First of all, it was invented in Rome, incredibly enough. And, um, and their Pizza La Pala, imagine, rises for over 100 hours. 100 hours, that's four days. And you know what this patience and time does to a dough like that? It makes it incredibly highly digestible and so incredibly soft in the Italian and crunchy on the outside. Why is it called pizza la pala? Simply because it is placed on, on a pala, which looks like a like a cricket board, like a board, okay, so we can say that, grazie, is just gonna show you. So the dough is, this is the pala, the dough is put on this and then it uh, the, the pizza is slipped onto the surface of the oven, literally, there's nothing between the, the, the surface of the pizza and the oven. And then after cooking, it is topped and here it is. Look at this, look at this. Grazie, e me la metti in una scatoletta che la porto fuori? Grazie mille. And the great thing about this is that it's street food. And I will show you where I'm going to eat it. Voilà, mi sta urtando una adesso con il mango. Ah, quella con l'anduia. <laughs> quella è qualcosa di mamma mia. Grazie mille. Grazie a voi. Ciao. Ciao. I said this is street food. I'm on the street. I got food. Let's go eat it. I'll show you. And this is so something so great about, you know, about Rome because you don't necessarily, I mean you can, but you don't necessarily have 
to sit down in a restaurant to enjoy amazing food because this pizza la pala is um well i'll tell you when we get to where we're getting let me share let me be nice let me share with you look so this is their white pizza this is pizza bianca and this pizza bianca I and mean, look at the inside let's look at all the holes this is incredible this is so so good a hundred hours rising for four days that's really incredible and um and this is what makes this pizza so high high quality and then you know being former architects they have they have an architect mind and so all their pizzas are masterpieces i mean look at this lemon smoked provola basil so you have crispy delicious topping soft inside let's see how it is mm. wow And last one, which I'm dying to try, is this Persian recipe here. So remember, as I said before, you don't necessarily have to sit down in a restaurant. Rome is so beautiful. I mean, look where I am. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the piazza. Behind me is one of the most ancient, oldest churches in Rome. It's gorgeous. It's a wonderful place to sit down and enjoy lunch on such a gorgeous and beautiful day. And this does happen a lot in Rome. Buon appetito. This video series is brought to you within True Italian Taste, a campaign funded by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation in collaboration with Asso Camerestero and the Italy-America Chamber of Commerce West.